Are you tired of mid-journey images not turning out quite the way you wanted them to? Do you want more control over your image results? Let me introduce you to negative prompting. With negative prompting, you can tell mid-journey what you don't want to see, and that can have a huge effect on your images, though maybe not always in the way you'd expect. A positive prompt describes what you want to see. We do this all the time in mid-journey. A negative prompt tells the AI what you don't want to see in your image. Midjourney has a special command for this. The dash dash no parameter tells Midjourney what you don't want to include in your image. You can use anything you want as a negative prompt. You can ask Midjourney to avoid certain colors or features. You can make your images sharper by asking for no blur. If you don't want people in your image, you can ask for that as well. You can use anything you want as a negative prompt, but are some better than others. In stable diffusion, most negative prompts try to counteract known problems with anatomy, like face or hand distortions, but this isn't as much of an issue in mid-journey. Most mid-journey creators target elements of their image or composition. But if you're having a difficult time getting good hands or other anatomy, you can take a leaf out of the stable diffusion handbook and ask for no deformed hands or no hands at all. There are a couple of ways to tell mid-journey what you don't want to see in your image. Let's start with the no parameter. After describing what you want to see, type dash dash no space and the element that you don't want to see. Make sure there's a space before the dashes and after the no. If you don't want to see more than one element, you can chain many negative prompts together, separating each element with a comma. That's the official way to format a string of negative prompts, but there's nothing wrong with typing multiple no parameters, though you will get slightly different results. If you have multiple negative prompts, play with the order. The order makes a difference, though maybe not a predictable one. The order of negative prompts may not have a huge effect on the overall style, but you might get slightly different details. In Midjourney version 4, there are a few known problems, like words or watermarks in your image. You may be tempted to add a universal no prompt for text. But before you set and forget, know that the dash dash no parameter also has an effect on the style of your image. Maybe you like this style, maybe you don't. In this case, the negative prompt actually made the image worse, adding mangled hands. But here, I liked what the negative prompt did for the clarity, crispness, and vibrance of the image. But until you know what the negative prompt is doing to the style, hold off on adding the same negative prompt to all of your images. If you're not using the dash dash no parameter, you're not alone. Most creators describe what they want to see, but they often don't think about what they don't want to see. Why isn't the no parameter more popular? For a start, the no command doesn't always work the way you think it should. Midjourney may simply ignore the no parameter. This is especially the case if your negative prompt contradicts a key feature of your positive prompt, a night sky without stars, or a desert without sand, or a sea with no fish. Okay, a turtle is the centerpiece, but there still are fish. Let's explore a couple of ways to wait the negative prompt to let Midjourney know that you're serious. Many creators try to add negatives to the positive side of the prompt, what they want to see. They ask for cloudless skies or barren landscapes. This can work, but Midjourney often ignores the negative part of your prompt. You can double up and add both a positive and negative instruction. This adds weight to the negative prompt by both saying what you don't want to see and using the no parameter. This sometimes works, but it's not foolproof. What can help is adding synonyms. Find a way to describe the negative in a couple of different ways. Reinforce the element that you don't want to see in both the positive and the negative side of your prompt. Finally, I get my night sky without stars. But notice how much different the style is with these multiple prompts. You can play with synonyms and rephrasing prompts all day, but there's another way to weight negative prompts. Use multi-prompts. With multi-prompts, you can add weight to parts of your prompt, giving it more emphasis. By using negative weights, you're telling Midjourney to ignore certain elements. Let me give you an example. Let's go back to the underwater scene with no fish. This is the one I struggled with the most. By default, every part of your prompt has a weight of one. Using the dash dash no parameter is the same as typing a weight of negative 0.5 in a multi-prompt. This isn't a strong enough weight. I still got fish in my image. So let's up the negative weight. The underwater scene is weighted plus one, and the fish is now weighted negative one. Both elements of my prompt have equal weights. And it worked. I have an underwater scene with no fish. So if Midjourney is ignoring your negative prompts, add more weight to them. 
the positive and negative weights must be balanced. They have to sum to zero or positive. If I add a weight of negative two to the fish, I'll get an error. The underwater scene is weighted plus one, so the weights added together are less than zero. Either add a weight of two to the underwater scene or add a second positive element to your prompt. Sometimes you don't know what you don't want until you see your image. Turn on Remix and then either type a dash dash no parameter or add some multi-prompts. Turn on Remix by typing slash prefer Remix. Now when you make variations, you can make changes to your prompt. But remixing into a dash dash no prompt may affect the style of your image. Remixing gets you a different result than if you reran the prompt using the same seed and adding a negative prompt. The style may be just fine for you either way, just know that the remixing process changes the image. Negative prompts in Midjourney are incredibly useful tools for gaining control over your images, but they need a lot of experimentation. Think of the words in your prompt as ingredients and play with mixing them in different ways. Let us know your favorite negative prompt tricks in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen and Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.